What type of work do you do here? Evolutionary intervention. My government calls it uplifting guiding the development of other species to suit our own purposes. Hey everybody, this is Daniel Kaiser talking about the science of games. I'm in Montreal and I'm talking today with Sebastian from Thwack. Thanks so much for joining us, man. I wanted to talk to you about the Mass Effect series and the Krogan Genophage, which is a storyline that basically sterilized an entire race, ran throughout the series. And we wanted to talk to you today about whether or not something like that is entirely possible, eradicating an entire race in that way. I don't know about eradicating a race, but the rationale, the science behind, I guess, creating a virus and that this virus could, in fact, uh, target reproductive genes in, in, in a Krogan race and then disabling those genes so that way they become sterile. The rationale behind that actually kind of makes a bit of sense and it could be kind of played out. The way it was done by the Solarians, to my understanding, is that they basically created a virus and this virus is engineered to target the reproductive parts of the Krogan genome. Touch me and I'll rip your head off. One of the interesting things about, I guess, using that type of tool to do that type of job, as ethically unsound as it is, right. is uh, the use of viruses. Um, over the last the few decades, we've learned how to use viruses uh, just to kind of do our own type of work. So when it comes to manipulating a system to either introduce a gene or to remove a gene, we've been very good at kind of uh, hijacking uh, viruses because viruses are already kind of evolved over so many thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years, to basically target a specific individual, hijack their cellular machinery to do what they want to do. What do you think about the experiments on the Krogan females? I was part of the team that found them on Tachanka. I wanted them eliminated. Now what's really interesting about uh, targeting DNA for degradation is that uh, there are these specific proteins, these interesting tools called zinc finger nucleases. And what they're actually built of is they're built of one specific part that recognizes a specific sequence of DNA, and another part that actually degrades the DNA. It's a nucleus, it destroys the DNA. So if you were to line up a handful of zinc finger nucleases to recognize a specific piece of Krogan DNA, a piece that's, let's say, responsible for reproduction, you can accurately, specifically target those DNA sequences with uh, zinc finger nucleases that will degrade them afterwards. So in this sense, if you were to basically create the virus, match it up with the right zinc finger nucleases, and target a specific sequence, you could, in fact, obliterate the reproductive genes involved in, in Krogan, uh, the Krogan race. I never like talking to Solarians. Not unless they're begging for their life. What's interesting about when you look at uh, the Krogan species, the type of DNA you would target, uh, it would be kind of safe to target Krogans because Krogans probably evolved very differently than humans. After all, they have like five testicles. So in that sense, uh, you would target something that's particularly conserved for Krogans uh, and important for their life history that wouldn't necessarily attack a human. That's why it would only work in their specific uh, race and that's why it's species specific. And in, in this case, there's a lot of things you'd probably be able to choose from because if you were to, let's say, think of a way to obliterate the human species by the same approach, you would focus on genes like gonadotropin or prolactin because they're very important for our reproductive axis. And if you were to knock out any of those genes in most mammals, they pretty much become sterile. So in this sense, if you were to find the analogous genes in Krogan species, you would have something to start with. So you basically, you create the virus, something we can do. You create the right enzymes or proteins that, uh, that would create the right zinc finger nucleases to target a specific piece of DNA. And that specific piece of DNA would be the most conserved piece of DNA in the reproductive axis of the Krogans. And, uh, and pretty much you've got everything you need in your recipe to destroy an entire race of alien species. Easy. <laughs> I can handle this, Rave. So can my shotgun. This obviously is not a positive thing that we're necessarily talking about. You talked about the concept of being able to control, manipulate, and infuse viruses. Are there positive uses for that that are Definitely. being used today? Yeah, there's a few things. Uh, I don't know. I personally do not know what's hit trial, mm -hmm. but I do know that in the lab you, you use it. Uh, more than anything, I think viruses are used as a tool to ask questions. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said before, nobody really wants to say, oh, and we'll just give you this virus to fix your problem. No, a virus, I don't want, do you right. know what I mean? So uh, I don't think there's a, we're there yet for that type of uh, approach, at least I don't know. Well, excellent. Thanks so much for your no information. Worries. It sounds like the Krogan are safe for now. So we appreciate your insight. For the latest on the science of games, you can head online to GameTrailers.com. I'm not your property, Reeve. <laughs>